The 11 Saudi princes were arrested outside the royal palace in Riyadh, where they'd been protesting about the kingdom's decision to make Saudi royalty pay their water and utility bills as part of a wider austerity plan. The princes were transferred to the high security prison of Ahir and are expected to go on trial. The 11 individuals officially were arrested because they were complaining about the fact that they had asked for subsidies for water and electricity and for some reason uh, they were denied. Other reports say that in fact they were cousins of a prince who was executed in October 2016 and that they had come to ask for retribution. It's very conflicting at this point. We don't know exactly what is going on. Saudi Arabia has introduced a string of austerity measures to boost revenues and cut spending as the global slump in oil prices led to ballooning budget deficits, slapping a 5% sales tax on food, clothes, electronics, water and electricity, and raising fuel prices significantly. Expatriate workers were also caught up in the price rises, but careful not to complain. Now I spend uh, 768 something for uh, my grocery. Now they add the additional 5% tax, it's uh, amounting 36 uh, real. And for me it's okay as long as uh, we are helping Saudi Arabia. More than 200 princes were arrested in November in an anti-corruption purge led by the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, which also served to strengthen his power. Many of the country's richest and most influential princes struck deals for their release, while a few remain here at the palatial Ritz-Carlton in Riyadh, described as the most luxurious prison in the world. Saudi Arabia's oil-based economy has taken a battering with the fall in oil prices. Balancing the books will be a long and protracted task that will not prove popular with ordinary people here, or at very least, ordinary princes. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera.